Welcome to the Auburn Medical Group YouTube live stream. The entertaining medical live stream where viewers can ask real-time questions of real medical doctors. And here are our hosts, Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Gwen Vaughn. Yes, thank you for coming to the Auburn Medical Group live stream where you have, of course, Dr. Mark Vaughn and... Hey. I'm Dr. Quainbach. Dr. Quainbach. What you do you know? By the labels there. We have, uh, in addition to the topic, which is from Dr. Gwain's blog, hey, drgreennight.com. I feel with like link. you're using me for all oh, my God. work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you all this promotion of, <laughs> all right. go sign yeah, up. Call it Here's the link. Sign up for his <laughs> blog where you get the ad revenue. I get go the ad revenue out. here. Yeah. So, um, but in addition to getting that topic about the 10 things you need to know for health, for going yeah, back, to school. back to school health. Yeah. We have right here, we have a box that was sent by Lindsay Ant. In fact, that's why I was How okay mysterious. starting a minute early this week, because oh. I saw Lindsay Antoine commented, so hey, Lindsay's here, let's start the show. Ominous. So thank you, Lindsay. All of those uh, things. It, it, yeah, I'll actually put up Lindsay's comments here. So Lindsay says, uh, oh, no, you can't see that. There it is. Hey, there we go. We meet again. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Rusty's it, here. You got to say that in kind of this yeah. and scary Reverend, voice. And then, and then there's a box. Is it ticking? Is okay, it good. <laughs> and we also have the the Reverend Eugene D. Barbaro. 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 You have to tell us Welcome. if it's a long A or not, uh, Reverend Eugene, saying hello to us. And we also have uh, obviously Lindsay's excited. So excited. As as are we. And Donna Horton. Says it's her first time here from, from Ka, CA, Ka. The, the, is it, is Canada? It? Oh, I was thinking the uh, Cirque du Soleil show. Cirque du Soleil? Oh, oh, no, oh that's Ka. K. That's K, yeah. Or, or California. I've heard it used for oh, that before. I've been there. Okay. Well, wherever you're from, Donna, of all those different CAs. And if you are a Cirque du Soleil ar artist. What he said. <laughs> little stroke in the middle Let of the production there, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, oh, can oh, it's Canada. It is Canada. It is it's Canada. not California. See, I said Canada I'd have been before there I said too. California. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Donna. Pretty cool. All right. So, unfortunately, I am the uh, the director still because Holly is yeah. still not back to full time. Uh, tell her we miss her when you see yes. her, and we'll yes. tell her you miss her when we see her. So, uh, I saw her dancing on crutches. On crutches. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> I was there. Yes. And and those videos of Dr. Gwaine and myself dancing. The I'm sure one? I'm sure those are fake. Yes. If 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 anything if there's inappropriate dancing, it wasn't me. <laughs> if you if a video somehow makes it public of us dancing, it's fake. That's not real. Pretty sure I can't run for office anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so but please let us know if you see it and where. But it's fake. <laughs> but it's, what do they call it? Deep fake where they put somebody else in space? Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, somebody else as tall as you and who can move like you. <laughs> but they have your face. <laughs> Strange. Weird. And me behind you. Wait. Wait. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, this is how the show goes sometimes. Sorry. We, we have a guest in the studio. We'll try to behave. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, man. Uh, oh, Reverend Eugene told me it's yes. uh, Barb. Barba Row. Barba Row. Barba yeah. Barba Row. Okay. So uh, why were we dancing this last because weekend? Because there was something to celebrate. Yes, there was. Where, where's the cursor? You oh my let, goodness. You guys it really was... shouldn't let me be the one to do this. I, I'm too much going on. Here. There it is. Yes, my daughter got married. Kara got married it to was... Daniel Epperson. She's now Kara Epperson. And we love Daniel and Kara Epperson, even with that name change. <laughs> <laughs> We wish them the best on their honeymoon. So we are yes, happy about that. it was that. a wonderful Super wedding. Super happy. She was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The ceremony yeah. was great. You only yeah. cried a little. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was good. <laughs> I got through it. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't a downer for everybody. <laughs> no. You're not losing a did, daughter. You're did, gaining a son. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel that He's way. I really do. Uh, because, yeah, I lost her when she moved to Nashville. <laughs> now I'm gaining already, a son. Already did that. So, yeah, already, yeah, already been through that. So. So it was fun. Um, are we ready to open the box? Is that what time it is? You know what time it you is. You know what time it is. I've seen that one. What are we going to use to open it? Um, Let's use the correct tool, a scalpel. 
Let's go. Should I go get one? No, so, that takes too long. I, I'm curious. Oh, I, I didn't tell so, him how so it was. I'm just wondering if, is this something that's going to end the show as soon as we open it? We're just like, <laughs> nope, we we've, got to, <laughs> we've just got to stop it. I, I keep looking at the chat to see if, if Lindsay gives us any indication oh, at all. Oh, man. Um, yeah, what is what is it? I said it's not ticking. It doesn't have an odor to it. So this was inside of a bunch of paper, inside of a big box, making me think it could be fragile. Mm. I don't even know um, how heavy it is. I haven't handled it. Let me get okay, it's not that heavy. About the weight of a severed hand. <laughs> oh, that's right, because she, she's in uh, mortuary science. Okay. Uh, okay. She says it's SFW, if, if it's safe that. for work. Oh, good. Okay. Safe good. for work. So, well, that leaves out some body parts. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm using a key. Oh, that worked well. Whew. Who needs pocket knives Man. when you have keys? Keys I can am, be dangerous. My heart is pounding. I am oh, on the edge of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you do the rest. In, in front of the camera. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh I'm going to watch on, on, on camera and see what it is. Oh, what's that? A card. Doctor's Vaughn. Okay, card. so do we open that first? Because there's more in here. I'm trying to remember. Is it a Father's Day card? I thought Let's she, do that first before she we may move have told on to me, other stuff in there. Lindsay may... It those, says Doctor's Vaughn. That means I'm included in this. Did I say this That's is from exciting. Lindsay? Those of you who watch the show know that Lindsay is uh, that name at the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> that we that mentioned multiple Patreon. times. <laughs> you too can have your name right there with Lindsay. Oh, wow. That's a lot of writing. Oh, I don't wow. think we can read that all on... Am I... Lindsay, am I not supposed to read this on the show? Is this private before I start reading it out loud? Wow. But Did she take I think it does say something about what that other thing is. So the question is, do we need to read it, or should we just okay, look at whatever this other thing is? Safe for work. It's a letter. Is the letter okay to read? I'll start reading. There you is, you there stop is me. There's more stuff in here. I don't know how I'd hear her, but you stop me if I, if I shouldn't read it. To Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Gwen Vaughn, Auburn's and indeed YouTube's premier dynamic doctoral <laughs> duo. She knows what's going that on. That should be our little, like, parentheses. I, <laughs> I hope this letter finds you both well. I feel well. It's finding me well. Is it I, finding you well? I, I, I feel well. This letter finds us well. The package you've received contains what was originally intended to be a Father's Day gift. Oh, I thought, I thought it was April Fool's Day. Father's Day <laughs> gift. A small token of my appreciation for the both of you oh. and the work you do. However, as with so many things in life, the timeline in my mind didn't match up with reality. No matter, though. <laughs> what matters is the finished product, which I sincerely hope you'll enjoy for years to come. Oh, it's durable. I understand jewelry is of a personal taste, and tie pins are more of a rarity than in times past. Well, hey. Okay. But I think they lend a classic touch to any tie, collar, white coat. Well, we do wear. Oh. Well, I, I wear one more than you do, etc. The wearer right. chooses to place them on. One of my favorite things is fine jewelry, and I love giving it as a gift because wow. it lasts forever, and can even be passed down to others in the family. It doesn't come equipped with inbuilt obsolescence as so many things in our modern society do. My original idea was to find 14 karat gold stethoscope. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. 14 karat gold stethoscope ID tags. Ah. <laughs> Not a 14 karat gold stethoscope. Oh, uh, to be worn in your personal stethoscope. Oh, However, and we actually do carry those. We do have daily carry the 14 karat gold one. However, after extensive searching, I was only able oh, to wow. find sterling silver tags. Oh. Uh oh, I, I'm starting to get an idea There's of what this is. Stuff. I enjoy sterling silver. But it's very difficult to keep free of tarnish. Yeah, I agree. It that does tarnish. True. It requires weekly cleaning. So I gave up that idea. My next thought was some tie pins. Much easier to find in gold, but I didn't know how often either of you wear a tie. I ended up deciding that a pin can be worn wherever the owner pleases. Ooh. Perhaps on a white coat. I'm finding it quite difficult to write without the use of emails or insert emojis or inserting LOL. But I'll do my best <laughs> to refrain. Weak emoji. <laughs> because the emojis don't come over here. All right, let me get caught up on her comments because. Oh my goodness. Well. So she says. So we're we supposed to move on to opening. It's this? not private, just boring. 
<laughs> and you can read it if you'd like not to. Boring. Okay, yeah, I want to get caught up on the comments. It's apparently, what? The viewership's just plummeting here. Wonderful. Uh, I surfed around the internet and couldn't find anything I was happy with. I did order a set from one site, but after they were delivered, they weren't quite what I'd hoped for. Wow, she went to a lot of work with Lindsay. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. So back they went. I finally discovered a beautiful pair of 14 karat gold cufflinks uh, in a local jewelry shop. <laughs> I do wear long sleeve shirts on occasion. <laughs> that was, I was going to say something about pawn shops, but no, she says <laughs> they were the exact thing I had in mind. They just needed to be reimagined a little, Ooh. like putting skulls on them, crossbones. Yeah. Uh, I bought them and gave them to my favorite jeweler. And, ooh, she's really going out here. Wow. The first man I trust to work on anything I have. Wow. I told him what I wanted. We did a little further this is digging. really building up here to what? Got the necessary Man. components, and shortly after, he returned the finished products. The finishing touch, it, touch would be the engraving. Unfortunately, he didn't have the right equipment for it, so I took it to yet another local jeweler oh to have the initials engraved. Oh, no, which one's it? Yours or mine? I don't know. Maybe it's both of ours. We'll just pass it back and forth. I think we'll know. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't have the right equipment. <laughs> oh, no. So I took it to yet another local jeweler just put a to B have the it. initials engraved. Place. They turned out so beautifully, in my opinion. These little pins have been a labor of love. It sounds like it. Sounds like it. Handpicked labor. and handcrafted, especially for the Emphasis. both of you, and I hope you'll enjoy them. Also include a couple of the best <clears throat> polishing cloths available. I can show you those. I see bright. those right here. Polishing Gold cloths. doesn't tarnish like tarnish like silver does, but any previous precious metal eventually builds up after wear and handling. From your Think favorite patron, insert widely grinning emoji here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lindsay Antoine, a.k.a. Oh, Lindsay. Lindsay Graff. That is so kind of you. Lindsay. So there, there. This is special. This is a is polishing good. cloth for you. Oh, it comes in a special container. Look at that. Polishing cloth. I, I will I look guess. at that. I know how to do that. I know how to look at it. You go we like this. will move on. <laughs> it's right, in focus somewhere right in, in front here. of my face. Yeah, right. Where's right. my nose? All okay. right. I see a couple of, I don't think there's anything in these ones. I think these ones are, but I think everything is in there. I think that's everything. So really? I will let you do the honors. Separate bags for the uh, unboxing and for taking it? I guess, because yeah, separate these ways. Are, you gave us some extra. Here's, here's the box. There's a box. So maybe that's what these are for. Oh. Oh, I have our initials oh, on Oh, my them. goodness. Look at that. Take yours. Wow. Well, that's got my initials on it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's oh. like it's like tie pins, but you can wear them on anything. Yeah. Except, ah, I didn't stab myself. <laughs> but oh, yes, it is sharp. There we go. Uh, so mine is M V, with these uh, horizontal lines. That's how mine is. G V. No, yours is G V. Well, yeah, the horizontal. Where? I'm sorry. Can, can, we, can I, we? I think if I put it on your camera, we can get a can little get a better closer in on them. But they're wow. still pretty small. Yeah, any any closer, they're going to be out of focus. Thank you. Thank you, that Lindsay. That is so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me put it on here. No. Oh, yeah, i got to find a place to put that. Now, this reminds me of Jill Schroeder putting my corsage on. <laughs> she was bleeding. At oh, her. no. Yeah. There we go. Right there. The corsage that stained my shirt. Did oh, you see the stain? I did not see the stain. Should I go in the collar or in the shirt? Wait, wait, I get the back of it. There we go, I did it. Huh? How's that look? Look good? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. See what ah, that is sharp. Oh, and then that, I guess, is what you can take it home and then store it for later. So one for you. Nice little to-go bag there. Tote, I think, is the proper term. Thank you. Look at that. All right, let me now see. We, now I get something to wear, like, is on it? YouTube every every day. Every right, week, I, I guess. Right. Is, it, is it upside down? No, it's the correct There we way. go. Thank you, There Lindsay. you go. Now, yeah. Look at us. We're twins. We match. All right, there's my wow. bag. Wow. We'll set these aside. And there's that. Okay, thank you. Moving on to 10 uh, health topics for returning to uh, school. Back Wait, to school, school time. Is it that time? So this high school's already started up. Yes. I think, I think uh, yeah, and the school right over here started last week. My yeah, I saw the kids together today. started um, today. Day was the day. First back day of to school. school. Back so to school. An appropriate topic. They Ten. eased them in apparently because they just had a minimum day today. Ten health topics. Yeah. Where to start? Okay. 
Well, I'll do number one. What's number one? Number one is wash your hands. This is a good one. <laughs> Very <laughs> basic. And, and don't just do it once. Do it weekly or more. Often. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe even throughout the day after you get in from being outside, uh, after you come home from school. Uh, after you go to the bathroom. After you go to the bathroom. Before you eat. <laughs> times like that. Number two. What's number two? Uh, number two is what you do and then you wash your hands. Right? What you do and then you wash your hands. Eat. No. Come in from outside. Oh, number two. Was, oh, number two. It was a joke. Number two. Right over your after, head. After number two. I had to bring it up to make sure I'm going in order here. Well, after you Eat healthily. You That's should it. after number one or number two. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So number two is eat healthily? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very important. Right. Um, so, th so this is one that's important uh, for all kids, obviously. But it's very easy to get into the habit of just packing the easy stuff into your kid's lunch. Um, the stuff that comes in packages, which is typically not healthy. So that would be chips, crackers, cookies, desserts. Um, and they're really easy. You, you just throw them right in there. I would caution you to not do that. Those are not healthy foods. We want plenty of fruits and vegetables for our kids. So make sure you're getting some of those in there. And some of these are easy. I mean, you throw an apple in there, that's going to last until lunch. Uh, you throw a banana in there, it's going to it's got a nice protective coating. <laughs> you know, these, right. these are nature's wrapper. Things. Nature's wrapper. There you go. Peel it right off. So, um, yeah, we, we um, my wife's very good at this. She makes sure that our kids get um, fruits and vegetables with each each of their meals. Um, That's a good thing to start early. Yeah. So they see that as normal instead of snack right. foods in a bag. Yeah. The other side of that is what they're drinking, what kids are drinking. And as they get older and into high school, they want to drink more of these more caloric, high caloric drinks. Yeah. like Because they're tasty. They are. Yeah. Um, you know, like the like Starbucks perfect. drinks. <laughs> Yeah, like those. Uh, like things we eat or drink on this show. <laughs> like what our Patreon yeah. supporters provide us. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, wait, right now I'm having water. I'm oh, having, there you go. I'm having water. So that's what's most healthy, water. Um, you know, tried to, we, tried we to did have our sweets. Dutch earlier. Yeah, we did. I, I have to admit that. But yeah. water is what we want to give our kids and what they should be drinking mostly. So Yeah. Um, yeah, those are kind of the big things for eating healthy. All right. And what's number three? So the other side would be stay active. Um, so we want our kids yes. to stay active. Um, PE is important in school, uh, and kids get a little bit there. They may even participate in a school sport and get activity there. Um, but we want to make sure that they're getting outside. 60 minutes every day is what we uh, advise. So get them outside, you know, get them doing something, running around, sign them up for a sport, ride their bike, Go for a hike, whatever it is. Get them outside, uh, especially while the weather's nice. You know, it is hot here. It's um, great for families to do it together. Yeah, yeah, even even better. Uh, you get out with have them. Have that. Yeah, and that kind of goes into one of the later ones, but uh, which we, oh, we okay. may talk about. Um, but okay, yeah. Um, so that was number three. That was number three. All right, and then what would we have for number four? Number four actually goes along with getting outside. So if you are going to get outside, you want to make sure you're staying cool. Um, so it is still summer. Even though we're back in school, it's we're hitting 90 degree days, uh, 100 degree days on occasion, sometimes in August. And it doesn't really cool down, at least around here, until uh, mid to late September. So uh, make sure you're keeping your kids cool. If, if you're going to do those activities, do them later in the day or early in the morning if you're early morning people. Uh, make sure you are take, drinking plenty of water to stay hydrated um, and wearing light clothing, uh, not overheating. Uh, we don't want any... Um, heat stroke, heat related illness. So, so that's really, really important. Um, so I, I'm going to skip forward because I want to leave a little bit of a uh, uh, <laughs> teaser for what, what's actually on uh, there. Um, yeah, five and six actually have a little bit to do with number seven, but number seven is very important. And one I tell all the kids who come in and do their uh, well child um, physicals with me, and that's choose good friends. <laughs> this, oh. this is important because uh, your friends yeah. will influence you a lot. So if you have kids, make sure they're choosing good friends, um, and that can influence a lot of different things and make a lot of their uh, choices a lot easier. It really, really can influence things. Uh, One way or the other, good or bad. It is dramatic how choices at the younger ages have consequences later on in high school. Sure. Yeah. 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 Keep an eye on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but this is a good time to read. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Let me find it here. Okay. This is, uh, remember Marie Gracia Odal? 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 
Absolutely. You remember because <laughs> bless me day. If it isn't my two most favorite and beloved father and son. Yes. With matching we pins. We told you. We've told you this. Mary Gracia, we told you this. With matching pins. Uncle, nephew. Partners. Not father's son. How are you doing, good fellows, this merry, merry, good medical evening? <laughs> good medical evening. Hello from it Boring like Lake Orion, right? Michigan. <laughs> boring Lake Orion. <laughs> That's a good thing, because I would think if Lake Orion was not boring, you, something I, bad would be going I, I'm on. I'm just imagining the, the city council discussion on, what should we name ourselves? Boring Lake Orion. <laughs> boring, yeah. What's our motto? <laughs> no one, no come, one's at the Come meeting. here for a good nap. <laughs> yeah, there you boring go. Boring Lake Orion, Michigan. <laughs> thank you, Marie Gracia. And uh, thank you for reminding us that some people think we're father-son. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. I think it means I yep. look young. Because you don't look old. We can't. What? It, it means I obviously don't look young. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I was trying to help you out there. Okay, you were trying. I, pre, I appreciate the effort there, Dr. Gray. Okay, back to... Um, yep, uh, so there's a few more on there. Uh, one I do want to make sure we get to is planning for emergencies. Okay. Uh, very important. So, um, so your expect school... the worst. Yeah, uh, plan for the best, expect... Uh, Expect the best, plan for the worst. There it is. I knew it'd get there, you know, eventually. All right, plan for emergency. Yeah, uh, so so make sure your child, younger child, older children, you know, they kind of know these things, but younger children, make sure they know your um, phone number, you know, yeah, so they know how yeah. to contact you. Um, if your child has a phone, make sure you, you're on their emergency contact list in there. And make sure the school has appropriate numbers so they can contact you if needed. Um, some kids may have medical conditions that need intervention, allergies, peanut allergies. So make sure you've got the appropriate, um, you know, EpiPen at school or um, if they have asthma, make sure they've got their inhaler at school. Make sure all of those things are available and that school has the appropriate uh, authority or uh, signed off um, oh, consent to be able to yeah. give those in, in case of an emergency. So, okay. So, so there you go. Let me there check. are about five more. On that list, go check it out. Is there a link in the description there below? There is, and check we're not giving out. away the whole ball of wax because no. we're sending them to the links. There we go. See, that's how I get it to use good, this material. It was a good one, it's though. A tease. Yeah. There you go. But but yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, and if your kid watching this, hey, have a good school year. Go check Absolutely. that out. And choose good friends. Yes, and thank you again to <laughs> Lindsay Antoine for. Yes, thank you. Where to go? There it is. Oh my goodness, that is. is wonderful. Right Look at there. That. It's hard to see like that. I can see a better one. Out. There we go. Yeah. But but patience will see it because we're close to them. Yeah. And they'll ask about it and we'll say, well, this well. this lady in, well, is it North Carolina? I think so. I think it's North Carolina. <laughs> Loves us <laughs> and is a fan of our show that you should watch too. We appreciate it. Okay. Absolutely. So um, coming up, anything we need to cover or, or anticipate, look forward to? Um, for what? Nothing especially out of the ordinary right now. No, no, okay. I don't think so. Uh, but we'll keep we're watching. back into a normal routine for a little while. Yeah. Uh, Monkeypox update. Yeah, Monkeypox is out there. It's out there. Um, COVID's out there. We we now know we now have links through Sutter gave us some links for where to yeah. go if yeah we where have if a you are in a high risk population you should be getting your vaccination. So yes, check yes. With your primary care physician about that. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know if you're a high risk population, watch our show on that. Yeah. Yeah. Go back and watch that one. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, over at Dr. Green Knight, check that out. Yeah. Uh, I would like to thank my Patreons over there, which include Teresa Roth and Sir Lindsay Antoine, yeah. who is the one who, who generous, provided these for us. Generous provider of this. And also, you, you can get your name on the show either listed at the end somewhere in this area or actually mentioned, uh, just like Lindsay Antoine by going to the uh, Patreon link that's right here. And then very shortly after the show, we, we put a little thing somewhere in the middle for people to click on. Until next time. Hey, I'm Dr. Gawain Vaughn. Dr. Mark Vaughn telling all of you to stay in good health. Doctors, thank you for another informative session. Auburn Medical Group is located in Auburn, California, USA. Thank you for participating. Please tell a friend and join us again next week.